Hi, today we're going to make a scrap rat. So grab up your old t-shirts and make something fun for your dogs. Mine love it. Join us. Colin, fetch. Hi, this is Tweek. A friend of mine who's really into quilting had a bunch of scraps she said she wanted to get rid of and I went, ooh, me, give them to me. Because I can take those 100% cotton fabric scraps and turn them into a safe dog toy, which I call a scrap rat. What's nice about the scrap rats is not only are they 100% cotton, there are no fillers, there's no squeakies or anything to get in the way of what the dog may or may not ingest, and they're washable. So they can slobber all over it, and you throw it in the wash and it comes out perfect. And I'll show you how I made the scrap rat. The product supplies you'll need for this are, t-shirts are the best, and that's what I'll be showing you today, a scissors, and a Sharpie if you wanna add some eyes, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Today I'm going to work on 100% cotton t-shirt scrap rat. And I like the feel of this one and I had more access to t-shirts than I did to scraps from quilting. Let me show you what I did. I took a t-shirt, 100% cotton. Cotton's nice because when you cut it up, it when you rip it, it twirls or curls and that makes for a little more fun. So some of you guys have to get out of the way here. This is a nice project for anybody. All you need is an old shirt and a scissors and have some fun. So here's my shirt. It's been washed a whole bunch of times. The more you wash the cotton, the better it is for your pet and for you. So you come right underneath with the scissors, right underneath the armpit there. We're gonna use the seam on the sleeve as a tie. So right now, just get to that spot and just go across. It doesn't have to be even. I'm just cutting along, trying to make as much use of the fabric as I can. So this is what's left of my top. Old top, good color for Valentine's pink top. Save that, because we're gonna make use of that, some of it. And this piece here, let me get rid of the mat. Okay, this piece here, we're gonna come to the bottom where the seaming is. So you got a seam on either side of the shirt, and you've got this down here. I'm gonna to try to even that up a little bit. Flatten this out. Okay, we're gonna make cuts. Here's the seam side. You're gonna come up two or three inches. You're gonna just slice up a couple inches and then come over another three inches or so and make another slice. You're gonna go all the way across making little slices. Don't have to be real even. Scrap rat doesn't care. Okay, here we go. Cut, cut, cut. Next comes the fun part. We're gonna rip. Now this is where cotton fabric is nice because it rips real easily. If you have any fabric or any t-shirt that has something else in it with the cotton, like I've ripped up some polyester shirts and they do not rip as well. Here we go. See, done. Try another one. Done. Got the little frayed edges. It's not curling very much. Maybe it's a thicker cotton. And then what I'm gonna do is Take the strips, and I'm gonna start laying them out. Kind of think of like a fan. I'm just gonna layer them in and spread them out just a little bit as I go. Just take the random pieces. Now, my sister said these look like octopus toys. Why do I call it a scrap rat? Well, because it's made of scraps, and the first one I made did look like a rat. <laughs> So as I lay out these pieces of t-shirt material, I think back to my friend who gave me a bunch of quilting scraps. And I took those scraps and made my very first scrap rat, which went to my sister who gave it to little Miss Sadie. Sadie has not let go of that thing. It's been in the wash once, and Sadie loves her scrap rat. Got them fanned out. Now there are a couple pieces that had the seam. The seam's really good for tying because it's double-edged. I mean, it's really stitched well. So I'm going to take advantage of that and pull a little more of the fabric away from it. Just to neaten it up a little bit. Let me cut out one more too, because we're gonna need two of them. There we go. 
we got one more. Did I put that down? Oops. Oh, the fabric thing is on there. Get that out of the way. I put the two there. The fabric tag is in there. Okay, I've got my two seam pieces for ties. And that little extra tendril that was by the seam, I'm just going to make use of that and put it in the pile. Now I've got this fanned out. What I'm going to do now is just come to this end and just pull it up and kind of give it a little squeeze. So you're bringing them all together. And then I'm going to put one of these ties up here at the top. And I know it's not all even. That's all right. I'm going to come a couple inches from the top and I'm going to use this thicker part of the seam and pull as tight as you can as you can. Flip it over, come back over, and do the same. I'm going to go back and forth till I run out of material. I'm trying to make as tight a knot there as I can. So I've gone around twice. I'm going to come back and just make knots. The rest of the scrap rat is all about knotting. Don't have to, you can braid if you want, but knotting to me is just so much easier Okay, got a little bit of edge, cut some off. Now that is going to represent the top or the hair of the scrap rat. <laughs> Quite a while there to do. Now we're going to take this part, give it a little bit of shake, and I'm going to come in a couple inches down. And I'm going to make the head. Here again, I'm using the fabric that came out of the seam. Give it a really good pull. This is why you like those seams because you can really torque on that and and make it make it strong. Not come again and I'll flip over again. I'm thinking about the doggy that's going to be tugging on this, and I want to try to make it as tight as I can. Okay, I can do one more. Okay, pups, we'll see if you can get through that. <laughs> and I see a little bit of the tag is in there. Doesn't matter. I don't think if that comes off. Oh, it's going to come off. Okay. And one less thing for the doggy to pull off, right? Okay. All right. Got a few little scraps here. This is what we have now. What happens now? This is the easy part. Take each one of these, wherever it is, wherever is next to it, and make a simple knot. Okay? Knot. And knot. Knot twice. And I take each side and throw a couple of knots into that. You can get an idea of where the length is going to be on the little tendrils of the scrap rat. So here we go, another one. This also reinforces the strength of the cotton and the knots. Ooh, this is going to be a very pink one, isn't it? Okay, another one. Make a simple knot at the base. Another knot. And then you want two or three knots. You can do one knot. I like at least two, because I imagine the doggy teeth pulling at it. Okay. And we're just going to continue all the way around till you run out of these to knot. Gosh, how many of these have I made now? Oh my gosh. To get the right pattern that I wanted, I just kept going after t-shirts till I ran out. I found that with my dogs. They like when they catch a toy like this and they shake it and it flaps them in the face. If you think these are too long, let me show you what you can do. Make a snip. If you think they're too wide is what I'm trying to say. Rip. See, this, these are so versatile. You can, any way you want to go with different fabrics. I, I mean the 
different patterns make these more interesting. So I just made the thinner tendril. two sets left. I think I'm going to, this one seems kind of thick. I'm going to cut, cut that one and strip it down a bit. So easy. Look at that. Look at that. Cotton is so good for this project. Like I said, if you get um, fabric or use a fabric that has less cotton in it, uh, it's not going to rip as easily. Just be aware. <laughs> you have, might have to cut each strip instead of ripping. What is it that makes us laugh about our dogs carrying these around the house? I don't know, it's just funny. Okay, so there's that. What do you think so far? <laughs> There's control gun it. They can do whatever they want. It's fun. I want to do a little more to it. One more thing. I want to make this look more wacky up here. Actually, it looks kind of like a flower, doesn't it? But I don't see much fun in that. I'm going to shred it up a little more. I'm going to make it even more wacky, huh? It's kind of fun. <laughs> Reminds me of a carrot top for some reason. I do want some sticking up. Just a little bit, let me see. Okay, is that how I want it to be? Now I want to shorten it up a little bit. Don't ask me why, I'm just rolling with it here. I need a bit of a haircut. Come around, don't cut my tendrils. A little more off the side. Oh. What do you think? Crazy. Now what I do to finish this off is to look for a flat spot, which I would come in right in here. And I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and put two eyeballs, just for my own fun here. <laughs> it may wear off after a few washings. Is that how we like? And then I'm gonna put a little smiley face, cause what toy doesn't like to be chewed on? Happy, happy little face. Oh, she's worried she's going to get chewed on. My scrap rat is, I think, completed. <laughs> now, depending on the fabric you use, cotton is preferred, but different cotton shirts I found behave differently. This one came out really curly. I didn't curl that. When I pulled the fabric, it did that on its own. I loved it. So when you pick your shirt and you start making your scrap rat, it's going to have a personality all its own. Your dog is going to love all of them. Slobbering all over. Yes, they will. They all turn out differently, but they're all going to be a fave for your pup. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when our next episode is coming up. Until then, treat your pup to a scrap rat. You won't regret it, and they're going to love it. See you again.